What's up, everyone? So, uh, my fucking thing. What, did that test test? All right, whatever. So, oh, fuck, I'm retarded. All right, so it keeps doing it. All right, so, um, like, um, whatever. I'm assuming that, like, the Witch's Coven is putting Michelle Ivanka up to posting it posting a bunch of thingies with her dog and whatnot. I don't give a shit about dogs. It's just my dog was old then anyways. Probably lived longer than she sh was supposed to and all that bullshit. I don't care about dogs. I don't care about cats. I don't care about chinchillas. Even though Amanda had a chinchilla, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I just want to smoke and get my shit done and start getting paid again and put all that money into crypto. I don't actually think... Tiffany's a crack whore. I just, I just say that shit because I'm upset. She's definitely like top of the line, like, like egotistical, self-centered, doesn't know how to apologize at all. But for what, what I th actually think happened is something more along the lines of. Everyone's broke, even Slick Rick or whoever the fuck it was who put that stupid fucking. And also, remember how like a year or two ago, all the fucking sports motherfuckers were like selling out to China because they thought that the China coup was gonna happen, but it didn't happen. And they're trying to make another virus. Oh, this is a super pneumonia going around. Fuck you. Anyways, oh, that was a good one peanut butter crackers and I ate that salad from Sweet Leaf that I bought yesterday that I ate this morning. Linda, I think dad hats are cool. I just had to say that bullshit because Tiffany was going to probably make my life difficult for daring to talk to some other Asian bitch and fuck you stupid crack whore. But anyways. Um, what was I bitching about? So I did a little bit of, not even, that I used, uh, I'm, look, I got a Windows 11, and I'm probably going to start using that one for all my work shit, and have this like a work laptop, and non-work other bullshit. Also, I figured out why I was lagging, I think, on StarCraft 2, I haven't finished my paperwork yet, just calm the fuck down, Stephanie, but I think what happened was, my Shadow Socks proxy is, for some reason, it's routing it through Montreal. So, I got a, whatever. So, I got a East Coast US connection routing through an East Coast Montreal connection going to the game server, and that's just probably a few too many hops encrypted with 4096, all that bullshit for the game server to handle. So, I'll fill it with that later. There's still one, though. So, whatever. No. So, I was looking at that bullshit. And I'm thinking the reason why everyone in my family wanted my parents to sell the house soon was because of interest rates are retarded right now and all that crazy bullshit. But, again, when you, when you deal with crypto, again, as you guys just saw, like, like, T-Fuel. Just did like a thirty percent spike, and now it's going back down. Like that's normal. Like I sold, like I sold some just to buy, you know, some more weed, allegedly, and all that bullshit, or CBD, I mean, and all that bullshit, right? But like that's normal in crypto. So when people are like talking, like, oh, it's a two percent interest rate in the mortgage increase. Well, if you're in crypto, you don't give a fuck. You're like, I'll just wait for the next, you know, fifty x, and then I'll pay it off then. But people aren't at that point yet, right? So. I also saw something in Majiggy how, like, in L.A., it's, like, a bajillion times worse than that because Gavin Newsom is a prick. And apparently, the reason why all the Korean bitches are going to L.A., like, ESPA and all that bullshit, according to Cookie Light, who, I don't even watch Cookie Light, so I don't know what you're talking about, but, you know, and shut up. Fuck you. Like, you don't give a shit. Fucking retarded. Anyways. So, 
uh, Cookie Light was saying how like Espa uh, broke like character or whatever for extra spicy or whatever the fuck. Probably because there's like deals. What it is is everyone in LA, all these fucking old school. Like, why the fuck would Slick Rick be fucking doing bullshit with these fucking kids in the first place? Because taxes on a five million dollar mansion is four million dollars in California, especially in LA. Infosec depends on your target. They're doing bug triage right now. I don't want to get into it. I just don't have. I don't have the. I don't have the bandwidth in my brain to deal with the charts which is a day off for the charts the fucking code base bullshit in a compiler i don't that's really just most of these fucking blockchain projects are just some douchey twat in stanford throwing together some fucking idea to get funding as soon as they can with zero security involved i, I shouldn't be complaining because there's just money up for grabs right now but it's so fucking retarded So I get my paperwork done and play some more StarCraft 2 before I start working all that bullshit. Look, you guys think that playing video games would be awesome all the time, but like literally, China used to have like, because I used to hunt them down, China used to have uh, prisoners play World of Warcraft and mine like materials or like farm materials, farming mats in. Farming mats. Farming mats in game and then selling them on the auction house for gold and then selling that gold to people in real life for for real dollars. And uh, I actually got one of my friends, kind of a douchebag friend, because I guess at the time people I hung out with caught. And what they were doing, they were buying it from Chinese people, and those people were prisoners doing it. But, but I would, I would hunt them down as a druid and like kill them and stop them from finding, from farming mats and whatnot. And I would report them to the admins and whatnot. Um, what was I bitching about before that? Oh yeah. So apparently, there's some new thingy where like even if you sell your mansion in LA, you have to pay extra more money to you know, Gavin Newsom and his fucking cronies and all that bullshit. So they're all like, well, instead of selling my house and moving, I'll rent it out to all these fucking twatty douches and they can film their bullshit here. So probably. Tiffany's whore ass was like, oh, I could do some twatty social media, you know, whatever the fuck bullshit. At someone's mansion in LA, it all look all fancy and all that bullshit. Give me the money. What you didn't account for was the fact that I don't give a shit about any of that bullshit. I don't. You literally could have just found some girls to do all that bullshit with, and I would have not given a shit more. Seriously, you you don't you don't understand. How, like, hate to break it to you, Slick Rick, or whatever the fuck your name is. It's it's not it's not oh wow the benefits from having my girl get groped by some rap losers no you stupid retard maybe you're actually get a job maybe your ass shouldn't have like fucking fucking what is it high heels and purses and all that bullshit fuck are you douche losers and like apparently because they didn't collaborate with Tiffany they're collaborating with some other douchey loser up and coming whatever the fuck wearing like a rainbow sweater or some bullshit like I don't, I don't give a fuck but that that doesn't that means you guys are broke that means you guys are broke like you you misspent your money right you spent all your money on like 50 bands and all that bullshit right see when people say they like the meek will inherit the earth they mean like bitcoin and silver not fucking 50 bands and lambos you retarded motherfuckers so I already pretty much figured it out. They're just retarded. They're just retarded, and they, they think that like their image is their brand, and they can like it's like it's like basically like ten years ago, there was you know when there was just printing the money when they just started to print. Well, they they when they just turned up the printing presses to the maximum for the first time. Um, um, 
uh, since the 70s, I guess. Um, back then, there were stories of people who were like, oh, you could, I'm an influencer, so you could come to my, please come to my thingy and I'll give you free shit because you're an influencer and your brand and everyone will know about it. So then everyone started doing that. And then people started, like, buying likes and buying follows and all that bullshit. And now you got fucking influencers like, uh, you know, Slick Rick and all these m motherfuckers who have, like, millions of followers with, like, 200 likes, right? And they're like, oh, my God, no one wants to buy my mansion. And I don't want to give up. If I sell my mansion, I have to give 20% of Gavin Newsom. I don't want to do that bullshit. So they try to rent their bullshit out. And you got dumb motherfuckers like Tiffany and Tiffany's retarded friends who are like, yeah, we can pimp Tiffany out. And then they'll be like, wow. My girl got pimped out to some rap losers. Look how cool I know, you dumb motherfucker. That's why I got mad at everyone, you dumb motherfuckers. That's why whenever some of these douchey losers, like, they're even trying to do it on Instagram. These douchey losers are like, stoic, stoic, Musashi, stoic. Look how awesome it is to pimp out your girl to have a bunch of people gangbang her, and then you get the money. You failed trading, but you were able to pimp out your girl on OnlyFans. You fucking losers, unfollow. No angry tirade, just go sh go eat shit. You motherfuckers will do anything but what it actually takes to be successful. That's why it's annoying, okay? That's why it's annoying. If it was a good idea, you would have just told me in the first place. I would have signed on the dotted line. You had to steal for it, you stupid fucking whore. And she's like, it is steal! That's why I committed a defraud! Technically, she's right. It's so fucking retarded. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it right now. She, she, she mistook what I said. I said something along the lines of people who are married are not allowed to uh, testify against themselves. And she, I, I was talking about hacking she, I don't know what the fuck she heard when I said that. It's so retarded. She is so Josie on. I don't even know how to get into it. But, so I think it's something like that. I think it's just like all these rap douches are getting, like, why do you, I, I, I'm, I'm being a realist here, okay? Remember when I was saying all that bullshit about human veal and all that bullshit, human farms and all that bullshit? If you join a club... Read Animal Farm. Literally, I read Animal Farm in eighth grade, and then when I got thrown out of high school for selling drugs, I read it again in in uh, Richard Milburn, the uh, alternative school they made me go to in the other county that they threw me out of because I tried to stop someone from setting the bathroom on fire, and then they mistook it for me being a bully, and then the person actually set the bathroom on fire. And then they complained about it to my probation officer, and he was like, well, technically, at that point in time, he was already expelled and off the property, which is 100% true. <sighs> Fucking assholes. But Animal Farm. Animal Farm talks about how, like, the harder you work, the more someone else makes. And they even reward you because it's like, well, I, ha I have no place to store all my wealth. So if I give it to you, one of my lackeys, I can take it from you later. Right? So they gave all you rap losers, I don't want to get into it, Boulay, whatever the fuck it is, Mason, Illuminati, I don't give a shit. You all are out there doing hand symbols and all that bullshit like you're in some kind of a club, I don't want to get involved, I don't give a fuck, I'm saying for the sake of this argument, for the sake of this, you know, scenario, scenario. so if you're in a club that someone else set up and someone else allows you to get into, that means that they're fattening you up for fleecing, right? In the in the to, if you want to be super super duper about it, in the Book of Mormon, when the when the when the Nephites rebel and go to the Lamanites and they train them in the ways of how to win and whatnot, and then they turn on them and they take over their shit because they're setting them up, right? They're setting you guys up. So then they get Slick Rick and all these dumb motherfuckers for 30 years through all these rap bullshits and you can't use your brain for shit. And now you're, you're in all these Instagram posts wearing high heels with your fucking purses and all that bullshit. And now you need money because Gavin Newsom is taxing your ass. And if you sell your, any of your shit, you got to give 20% to his ass. So now you're stuck. You're stuck. What do you do? Eh, what you do is you don't sell out, you dumb motherfuckers. That's what you don't do. Dumb mother. Oh, my brand, my brand. 
It'll be good for my brand. Tiffany was even like, I could pay for everything with my brand. No, you can't. Or you would be doing it already. Dumb motherfuckers. I that's why I said, like, all that brand bullshit and $300 get you some premium from Bayside. No one gives a fuck about your brand. Okay, I dip my balls in your brand sauce. Seriously, what the fuck? What the fuck? We could help each other out. How? Uh, dumb motherfuckers.